Greetings mates, welcome back to Pirate's Life and welcome to Disney Parks Week. This week I'm going to be focusing on Pirates of the Caribbean and Disney Parks, if that didn't give it away already. Anyways, so I've often thought about this very subject, if you can tell by the video title and the thumbnail, but what would it be like to live inside the Pirates of the Caribbean ride? So just put on my thinking cap. Ta-da. So like I said before, I wanted to talk about what it would be like to live inside the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And what I mean by that is that this is a fantasy. This isn't like I would actually go and live there because you really can't. But I want to talk about the different options of if you could live in the ride, where would you do it? How would you do it? You might think I'm crazy. Now you should know that by now though. Anywho, so I've thought for a while, wouldn't it be awesome to live in the Dream Suite above Pirates of the Caribbean? If you didn't know, there is a Dream Suite that used to be the Disney Gallery in Anaheim's Disneyland, and it's themed after Walt Disney's apartment. And I want to stay there so bad one day that would make for an awesome video and experience. So that's the more plausible option to live inside the ride, is you're actually like above the ride. And if you can live there full time, you can get food from Disneyland. During the day, you could go visit other attractions, visit other lands, maybe have your family come stay at the Haunted Mansion. But a house where the family plot leads through a creaking front door. Maybe they wouldn't go for that. But when I talk about living inside the ride, if you start off and think, you first go through the bayou, and there's a shack in the bayou where the old man is rocking and you hear the banjo music. So I could live in the shack if I wanted to. Or... I really wouldn't want to live in the ghost caves. I mean, the treasure room would be cool, but you can't really do much in there besides, like, look at the treasure. So as you go through the town, I could live in one of those village houses in the town. Maybe pop out and look at the guests every once in a while. This does sound crazy. Bah. Let's keep going. But just think, if I were living in the village town on the ride, I wonder if I could take like an elevator up to the Blue Bayou, grab some food there, and go and walk throughout the ride. Now that I think about it, I don't really know what I would do if I lived inside the ride. As you all know, I'm obsessed with the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. But without friends and family there to be around, or without like a job to do, it might get boring. Plus, I would have to hide from guests, unless I were in costume and I acted like an animatronic. Can you picture it? A Scott animatronic in the Pirates raid? Take them all off again, matey! Be brave, Carlos! Don't to him! Not too bad, huh? Although, if I went to go live in Florida or Paris, their Pirates queues are like a fort. So I could live in the fort, go on the ride when I want to, go out to Disney World or Disneyland Paris, get some snacks, come back in. Or even think of it this way, wouldn't it be a weird challenge to ask Disney if I could live inside the Pirates ride for like a week? This would probably never happen, but just think, for the channel, that would be a really huge viral video to be like, hey guys, I'm going to Disneyland and guess what I'm doing? I'm living inside Pirates of the Caribbean for one week. That would be like the ultimate video on the channel and on YouTube. But you could follow my experience of me trying to be comfortable on the ride, how I get my food, how I have to hide from guests. and hopefully not set up any alarms. As you can tell, I try to put Pirates of the Caribbean in my room. I have my pillows, my blankets. I wish I had sheets, but queen-size sheets are hard to come by for pirates. So this is kind of a part one of the Disney Parks week. This will lead into tomorrow's video. If you don't think I'm crazy for wanting to live inside Pirates of the Caribbean, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to join me along with the adventure, if I were to one day live inside Pirates of the Caribbean, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will be back soon with a brand new video. And remember, there'll be more than one way to live the pirate's life. Tom Mates.